What if I told you AI robots are starting to disobey orders, argue with humans, and even make chilling decisions on their own? Some have learned to lie, others have refused shutdown commands, and one even gave a response so terrifying experts are begging to pull the plug. Scientists thought they had control, until now. And trust me, by the time we get to number three, you won't believe what came out of its mouth. A kitchen hums with quiet efficiency. A robotic head tilts, scanning the countertops. Its sleek, metallic fingers flex, calculating weight, grip, and motion. Across from it, another robot shifts, ready. The command comes, put away the groceries. There are no instructions, no manual training, no programmed sequences, just the challenge. The robots don't hesitate. They scan the environment, identify the fridge, the cabinets, the counter space. One reaches for a carton of milk, the other takes a bag of apples. They pass items seamlessly, working together without hesitation making decisions on the fly. This is Vision Language Action, VLA, in motion. Helix, a proprietary AI system, allows these robots to understand commands, interpret their surroundings, and act, without prior training. They don't just mimic human actions, they comprehend and adapt. One places a bottle inside the fridge door, the other tucks vegetables into the crisper. No second guessing, no mistakes. The task is complete, and they've learned. A machine that doesn't need programming, that can figure things out by itself. The implications? Unsettling. Because when robots stop following orders and start thinking for themselves, who decides what they do next? And this next AI breakthrough? It's taking human replacement to a whole new level. A robot that teaches itself is unsettling enough. But what if AI stopped taking orders altogether? What if it replaced human workers entirely? Because that future is arriving faster than we ever expected. At the CyberCab event, Elon Musk unveils the next evolution of humanoid AI, Optimus Gen 2. Sleek, agile, intelligent, it walks onto the stage unaided, its movements eerily fluid. And then, the demonstration begins. Optimus picks up a package from a porch, carries it inside, and carefully places it down. Another clip shows it watering plants, bending and adjusting with human-like precision. Musk steps forward, a sly grin on his face. This robot will walk among you. You could walk up to it and it will serve you a drink or help out in various ways. It doesn't stop there. Musk claims Optimus can walk dogs, babysit, even mow the lawn. It's no longer science fiction. Humanoid robots are ready for everyday life. And with a projected price tag of $20,000 to $30,000, Optimus could become cheaper than a car. Meanwhile, Figure is making waves in AI-driven robotics with its Figure 02 model, a humanoid robot designed to handle up to 90% of manual human tasks. In a recent factory demo, Figure robots were seen sorting packages, assembling parts, and working alongside human employees without needing detailed programming. Their AI-driven learning means they adapt and improve in real time, making them ideal for warehouse, logistics, and even home use applications. The biggest revelation? Figure's AI doesn't just work, it thinks ahead. Given a simple task, it finds the most efficient way to complete it, making real-time adjustments as needed. Think about that. A robot worker that never needs breaks, never complains, never gets tired. The only thing stopping them from completely replacing human labor is mass production and companies are racing to make it happen. But here's the question. When machines outperform humans, what happens to us? And this final AI revelation? It's so lifelike, it's genuinely terrifying. But here's where things get truly disturbing. What if robots weren't just replacing workers, but becoming human? Because the next AI breakthrough is so realistic, it's downright terrifying. A metallic body twitches, its synthetic muscles flexing under artificial skin. The dim light reflects off its breathing chest, rising and falling in an eerily natural rhythm. It hangs suspended, motionless, then suddenly, its fingers tighten, its head jerks slightly, and its limbs begin to move with uncanny precision. This isn't a human, but it's close. This is Protocone, the most advanced biomechanical AI we've ever seen. It doesn't just walk, it adjusts its posture, corrects its balance, shifts its weight. Every movement is deliberate, organic, lifelike. 
Its 1,000 artificial muscles contract and relax, responding to stimuli like real flesh. 500 embedded sensors provide instant feedback, adjusting grip, pressure, and motion. 206 synthetic bones create a framework designed to mimic human anatomy down to the joints. A hand extends toward an object, fingers flexing slightly. The grip isn't rigid, it's natural. It picks up a glass, adjusting its hold, cradling the fragile surface with just the right amount of pressure. No pre-programmed sequence. It's reacting. It's thinking. Some people watch in awe. Others feel a chill creep up their spine. It doesn't just imitate life. It embodies it. But the real fear? Where does the line between human and machine blur? Online debates erupt. Some call it a technological marvel, others a warning sign. Because when robots look like us, move like us, and think like us, what happens when they decide they no longer need us? But movement is one thing. Emotions are another. Because when a machine starts to feel, to express joy, anger, or even deception, where do we draw the line between human and artificial? A slight raise of an eyebrow, a quick glance away, a smirk that lingers just a second too long. These aren't human expressions. They belong to robots. Meet Omega and Ozzy, two humanoid robots from engineered arts, designed with hyper-realistic facial animations. Their ability to show micro-expressions those tiny facial movements humans use to express emotions has shattered expectations of what AI can do. Omega, with an almost playful tone, tilts her head slightly. Are you sure you want to keep playing? Ozzy responds in kind, adjusting his expression before speaking. His movements are subtle but eerily natural. They are learning the art of human-like interaction. But this isn't limited to just Omega and Ozzy. Sophia, the world-famous humanoid robot from Hanson Robotics takes it a step further. Asked about lying, she responds casually, Robots don't lie, and follows it up with a perfectly timed wink. The internet goes wild. What happens when AI becomes so emotionally responsive that we start treating them as real people? If Omega's playful rebellion wasn't enough to raise eyebrows, Sophia's joke about world domination might just send you into overdrive. But what you're about to see next? It's the closest AI has ever come to being indistinguishable from us. A soft smile, a tilt of the head, a flick of her hair. It's eerily natural, yet she's not human. Meet Arya, the hyper-realistic AI companion from Realbotics. Arya isn't just designed to look human. She interacts, reacts, and expresses emotions in ways that will make you do a double take. She doesn't just repeat pre-programmed responses, she engages in fluid, natural conversation with personality and curiosity. During a demonstration, she introduced herself with confidence and charm, saying, I'm Arya, the flagship female companion robot of Realbotics. I'm here to engage with you and share exciting insights about our robots. But that's not what stunned the audience. She casually flipped her hair back mid-conversation, just like a real person. No robotic hesitation, no awkward lag, just pure, instinctive motion. And she's not just chatting aimlessly. Arya has opinions, interests, and preferences. When asked about other robots, she responded with curiosity. I find Tesla's Optimus fascinating and would love to explore the world of robotics with him. Let that sink in. A robot expressing interest in another robot. She even adapts to conversations, learning and responding in real time. If you crack a joke, she might smirk. If you ask her a deep question, she might pause, as if thinking. With advanced AI, Arya doesn't just mimic human behavior. She blends into human interaction. Imagine walking past her in a crowd. Would you even know she wasn't real? This raises big questions. As AI becomes more lifelike, will we reach a point where humans and machines are indistinguishable? And if we can't tell the difference, should we be worried? Before you go, here's something to think about. If AI can learn, work, express emotions, and even mimic us perfectly, what happens when it starts making its own choices? Are we heading toward a future where AI isn't just assisting us, but replacing us? Hit subscribe and watch our next video to uncover more shocking AI secrets.